the Global Gender Inequality Index 2020 says that as per the uh, state, as per the data, we rank at 132nd position out of 187 countries in the world. So this deep-seated disparity is not only creating a huge gap, but has rather crippled many lives since times immemorial. Although efforts have been made since long to bring attention to various women-centric issues, the UN Declaration of Observing March 8 as International Women's Day in the year 1975 gave global recognition to the day. And since then, every year the day is dedicated to honor the political, cultural, and socioeconomic achievements of women to create a better gender neutral society, free of bias, discrimination, and stereotypes. But the moot questions that are troubling not only my mind, but the minds of many people in the webinar are, has the call for equality gained decibels only in the academic circles and political discussions? Or we have actually succeeded in breaking the stereotype. Have we managed to bring the paradigm shift in the mindset of people? Or the issue is just reduced to a political rhetoric? Have the rights and dignity of the women been protected or their seldom raised voices are still muzzled. So to deliberate on all these issues and to throw light on other important aspects associated with the day, we have amongst us the very honorable Dr. Surekha Dangwal, Vice Chancellor, Doon University, Dehradun, and Ms. Harpreet Kaur, Chief Judicial Magistrate, come Secretary, District Legal Services Authority, Shaheed Bhagat Singh Nagar. So I request our worthy Dean Academic Affairs, Professor G.S. Batraji, to extend a formal welcome to the guests and the audience on the webinar today. Sir, please. Good morning. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Javit Guru Nanak Dei, Punjab State Open University, Professor Karanjit Singh Ji. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Doon University, Dera Doon Professor, and Surekha Dangwal Ji. Honorable Chief Judicial Magistrate and Secretary, Legal Service Authority, Madam Harpeet Kaur Ji. Mr. Star, Dr. Karam Singh Sandhu Ji. Coordinator of Program, Dr. Gurleen Aluwalia. Faculty members and staff of the university. Nodal officers of Sikha Dath Program. Faculty and students from Learner Sports Centers, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Jagat Guru Nanak Dev, Punjab State Open University, I take this opportunity to welcome and congratulate you all on the occasion of International Women's Day, which is being celebrated throughout the world today. Under the dynamic leadership of Professor Karamjit Singh, but the Vice Chancellor of Open University, we are celebrating this program with much fervor. The theme for International Women's Day program of 2022 Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Develop Sustainable Tomorrow it has been very well selected by the United Nations. As you know, health, education, and climate, these are the three important challenges which are faced at the world level. Efforts are being made to mitigate the, the ill effects of uh, lack of uh, uh, education or uh, you can say health. And the third important objective which has been selected it is, of course, of utmost importance because women, they prepare food at home. They depend on the natural resources, food and fodder, flora and fauna. And, and they are also worst affected in this process whenever there is a climate change, natural disaster, or any war type of situation also. Hence, recognizing the contribution of women and girls around the world who are leading the charge on climate change adoption, mitigation and response to build a sustainable future for all. Hence, advancing gender equality in the context of climate crisis and disaster risk reduction is one of the greatest global challenges of the 21st century. The issue of climate change and sustainability have had and will continue to have severe and lasting impact on our environment, economy, and social development. 
those who are among us the most vulnerable and marginalized experience the deepest impacts women are increasingly being recognized as most vulnerable to climate change impacts than men as they constitute the majority of the world's poor and are more dependent on the natural resources which climate changes threaten the most so at the end i express my gratitude to the keynote speaker professor surekha tagwal and guest of honor madam harpreet kaur honorable vice chancellor professor karanjit singh ji for sparing their valuable time on this occasion keeping with the time constraint i request uh, uh, my coordinator of the program dr gulin alwalia to extend invitation to professor surekha tagwal to go ahead with the event jai hind thank you sir thank you so much so without taking much of your time i'd like to invite our keynote speaker professor surekha dangwal the vice chancellor of doon university dehradun uttarakhand with a rich teaching and research experience spanning 34 illustrious years she has been regularly making significant contributions in the field of english literature and gender studies so without standing much more between you and the speaker though her cv runs in pages and it would take me more than half uh, a day to uh, talk in detail about her but the uh, the paucity of time perhaps does not allow me to do so so i would request madam dangwal to please share her opinions with us ma'am please thank you so much dr gulleen ahulwalia happy women's day to all the wonderful ladies present here and all the wonderful uh, ladies of the university guru nanak dev jagat guru nanak dev open university punjab state thank honorable, you honorable honorable uh, vice chancellor professor karamjeet singh ji today's i think keynote speaker will be uh, ms halpreet kaur as i uh, requested uh, dean academics professor g s batra and he is the honorable member of the executive council of doon university as well uh that are honorable governor of uttarakhand state shri gurumit singh ji lieutenant general gurumit singh ji has invited us to the governor house and uh we have to move there all the vice chancellors but am i audible yes, yes you are audible yeah, yes ma'am okay so uh how much i can share on this special occasion um i don't know but still yes i'm really really very thankful that i want to be the part of university fraternity on this special day and uh, i want to uh, share my views as uh, the uh, convener dr gurulin at the outset cleared that 552 years ago jagat guru nanak dev ji was talking about uh, women issues and problems so we can understand on this special day that the whole structure of the society since ages and since centuries with the evidence of the presence of these great saints in any religion were talking about women issues and this is only uh, bharat this is only india where we have been not only worshiping women but talking about women and working for women issues at large and i am very very proud of on this special occasion that we as a women born in uh, this holy land of our country india where the equality the gender equality is in the root it is rooted very very deeply whatever being done in india it is always with women if i take you back to any religion and for example if we take um, hindutva or hindu religion we find that there is an image of ardh narishwar and ardh narishwar is an image talking not only about gender equality but is it is talking about that we are beyond this body the whole discussion of french feminism about women body the whole uh, gamut of issues raised by the western feminism sometime uh, not only diminish but we start feeling 
that our forefathers already aware of these very issues related to gender equality. When we talk about the woman of India, we feel that she is empowered, she is very strong, and uh, the structure of the society always encouraged women. So, so as Gurmeet uh, was talking about that, this is not what we are talking about, but this is the data of modern India in 21st century, alarming data uh, out of 115 countries. We are in some measures, not in every measure, as far as health issues are concerned, participation in uh, decision making is concerned, and uh, participation in uh, political uh, decision making is concerned. We are somewhere in uh, 113, in some issues we are 90, in some issues we are 92. So this is our social index that what gender, uh, the state of women in India is. But I strongly believe, I always feel that the encouragement, the empowerment, the status of women is very, very powerful as far as social structures are concerned, as far as cultural structures are concerned. And as far as the government and our governance and our, uh, we all are responsible for that, Samaj mein hum hai, lekin tantra mein hum nahi hai. Ye, ye, this is unfortunate part and this is what I want to share. Ke aapki, we have all respect in our families. We have everything in our society. Or Samaj ke aise thousands of myths are there and thousands of examples are there. Agar hum uh, Guru Nanak uh, Dev Ji ko hi samjhe, to hum har, har samay, uh, Mahila ko saath mein rakh kar unho ne baat kari. Kitne social reformers aai since ages. If we talk about Ambedkar ji, if we talk about Mahatma Gandhi, if we talk about Jyoti Bafule, if we talk about thousands and thousands, Raja Ramohan Rai, thousands of those social reformers, they are worried about it, ke kahaan pe chuk ho rahi hai, kahaan pe hum uh, gender inequality ki baat kar rahe hai. Western measurement mein agar hum gender inequality ki baat karenge without going deep into our roots. Telling to people ki hamare time aisa nahi hota hai. and day by day uh, with the advent of the technology, with a lot of other opportunities, jo stereotypical society hai, wo society uh, means uh, jaisa uh, Gurmeet ne kaha ki we have a society uh, man uh, dominated but sometimes I don't uh, believe in it because aaj bhi uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor and Dean Academic Affairs, they have this idea that we should invite all the women and share their views about uh, gender equality. So we cannot reach anywhere without the support of our um, male counterparts, without the support of our father. And I personally, whenever some daughter achieves something, I always congratulate um, to the father of that uh, daughter. And somebody asked me, why not mother? I say mother is always there hand in hand with the daughter. She always wants the development of the daughter. She always wants that her daughter should achieve something in the world. But what happened? Suddenly the father figure comes in between and he says that our house is not like this. Our culture is not like this. Without knowing about the culture, our religion is not like this. Or ye kehke wo mother is position me na yoti hai ki despite all the odds wo apni beti ka haath tham kar aage bade. So be it Hima Das, be it Vandana Kataria, be it Bachendri Pal, be it kitne naam aaj aap modern India me le sakte hai. Unke jab aap jayenge Saina Nehwal ke paas, to unke father ke kitne promotion ve le, kinu unhone Hyderabad nahi chhoda. Because he had to travel with that little girl 50 kilometers far away from his home to the academy, to the badminton academy. And he was sleeping there. He was sleeping at 3 o'clock at 3 o'clock. And when you look at this, if you remember uh, the film Dangal, talking about Haryana. Haryana is quite defamed about um, your gender ratio, mein defamed hai, aapka, uh, hai, atrocities, hoti hai, aap hai, khaap panchayat mein ye problem hoti hai, yahan ye problem hoti hai. Lekin jab aap dangal uh, picture dekhte hai, to wo jo baap hai, wo jo father hai, wo puri society se takra jata. The people are anti of uh, Mahavir Singh ji and they are telling, ab dekhte hai, apni betiyon ko pehlwan bana ke kya karega. 
and when they are there in the dangal people are using you know this is the society स्टीरियोटाइप भी है तो स्ट्रक्चर्स भी हैं तो ओल्ड एज सेंचुरीज की इनक्वालिटीज भी हैं तो अपने घर में डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस को भी विटनेस किए हुए होते हैं तो वो अपने उसी भाषा का उपयोग उन बेटियों के साथ करते हैं कि पहलवानी कर रही हैं और बाप को शर्म नहीं है वो सुन रहा है उस बात को लेकिन आप सोचिए डिस्पाइट लिसनिंग ऑल दीज एब्यूज अबाउट हर डॉटर एंड अबाउट हिम सेल्फ ही इज पेशेंटली लिसनिंग accepting and he tells he declares rather ki ye sab chup ho jayenge jis din meri betiya international padak jeet ke aayengi and that happened today the forgot sisters are you know no need of introduction of these sisters they are well known well known in not only haryana but in a world so meaning thereby इवन द मदर इज टेलिंग क्या कर रहे हो चिकन खिला रहे हो लड़कियों को अब क्या होगा रसोई में अब ये बनने लगेगा वो बट आप सोचिए कितने टैबूज तोड़े हो साथ में खान पान के टैबूज तोड़े कल्चर के टैबूज तोड़े सोसाइटी के टैबूज तोड़े और अपनी लड़कियों को पहलवान बनाया सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट दिस इज इंडियन फेमनिज्म वेर विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ आर मेल without the help of our father brother colleagues fellow uh, workers jitne bhi hain bina unki help ke we are not reaching somewhere and the society is holistic and the society is balanced where the male counterparts are also participating and raising their voice against the atrocities of women it is not only it is not a fight of women alone it is a fight of all the the whole society rather जहां पे आप अपने हिस्से को आप कहें आगे बढ़ते मैं हमेशा कहती हूं कि जो विमेन का रिजर्वेशन बिल है पार्लियामेंट में वो तब तक पास नहीं होगा जब तक हमारे सारे मेल मेंबर्स जो पार्लियामेंटेरियन है वो आगे आके ये नहीं कहेंगे कि नाउ इन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी एज सिंस एजेस इंडिया वॉज शोइंग इट्स स्ट्रेंथ इंडिया वॉज शोइंग इट्स इट्स कल्चर एंड इट्स a social commitment towards the empowerment of women in 21st century too this is the duty responsibility and accountability of our all our male partners to raise the voice ki participation agar kam hai to ye participation hona chahiye isme agar kahi discrepancies hain ki ye dar hai ki jo bahubali hain unhi ke ghar ki women aayengi aur common women nahi aayengi uske liye rules banaye ja sakte hain uske liye sari sari aap unke participation ko ensure kar sakte hain aisa koi bahut kathin kaam nahi hai lekin ha ye pass tab hoga it is not that whether uh, sushma swaraj ji late sushma swaraj ji raised her voice or geeta mukherjee from communist party she raised her voice or sonia gandhi is raising her voice it is not the matter of only women jab jab hum women issues ko keval women ka alone part banayenge tab tak hum kisi conclusion mein nahi pahunchenge isliye maine starting mein i was talking about ardhanareshwar wo jo kalpana hai ki aapka swayam kuch nahi hai every male has a feminine quality and if you believe or not only that fellow is called gentleman who is having the feminine quality so the stereotypical mard kind of concept is not acceptable in our society kisi bhi aap religion mein jayenge jahan daya hai jahan karuna hai jahan mamatva hai jahan mamta hai kon kehta hai mamta maa ka koi ek patent hai aur uska copyright hai nahi mamatva maa se zarur bana hai lekin mamatva pita bhi hai वात्सल्य पिता भी है और जिस पिता पे वात्सल्य ममत्व काइंडनेस पैशन कंपैशन ये गुण होते हैं वही आदमी जेंटलमैन होता है तो आपने देखा था कि निर्भया के बाद ऐसे बहुत से एड बने जहां पे एक लड़की को स्विमिंग पूल में धक्का दिया जा रहा था और एक लड़के ने उसका हाथ पकड़ लिया और उसने कहा कि परेशान करने में कोई मरदान की नहीं है आगे खड़े होकर हाथ थामने में मरदान की है सो दीज आर द कॉन्सेप्ट दीज आर द डेफिनेशन हाउ वी कैन रीडिफाइन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैस्कुलिनिटी हाउ वी कैन रीडिफाइन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फेमिनिटी दैट अ पर्सन अ बॉय शुड नॉट फील अशेम्ड इफ इफ ही इज बिहेविंग विद ऑल द काइंडनेस एंड कंपैशन एंड टीयर्स जो हमारी सोसाइटी में बॉयज डोंट क्राई सभी इंटरनेशनल ही है ये कि बॉयज डोंट क्राई 
ये जितने भी हमारे यहाँ पर मेल पार्टनर्स हैं दे दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेदर दे क्राई और दे डोंट क्राई वी ऑल क्राई एंड वी शुड क्राई समाइम जब जब रोने का मन करे तो रो जाना चाहिए लेकिन आपने देखा है कि माँ ही कहती है कि लड़की है क्या जो आंसू बहा रहा और ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे आंसू बहाने का अधिकार केवल लड़कियों को है और वो कहीं भी वो इतनी वीक हो जाती है कि आप उनको थोड़ा सा डांटो कि आप क्लास पे टाइम से क्यों नहीं आए वो रोने लगती हैं क्योंकि उनको ये नहीं कहा गया कि शर्मिंदगी है किसी के आगे आंसू बहाना आपकी कमजोरी है उसको हाईलाइट किया गया अरे बेचारी लड़की ना फिर रोने लगी सो यू ग्लोरीफाई हर टीयर्स यू ग्लोरीफाई यू नो लाइक राजेश खन्ना मूवी आई डोंट लाइक टीयर्स पुष्पा यू नो दीज डायलॉग्स सो दीज डायलॉग्स आर द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ टीयर्स इन द आईज ऑफ वेमेन बट द सेम टीयर्स आर अ मैटर ऑफ शेम इन द आईज ऑफ मेल सो वेन इवन इमोशंस आर बींग डिवाइडेड द जेंडर डेफिनेशन यू नो दैट हाउ बायोलॉजिकली वी कंस्ट्रक्ट जेंडर वी वी कैन नॉट कंस्ट्रक्ट जेंडर बायोलॉजिकली बट वी मिक्स अप एवरी थिंग लड़कियां तो ऐसी होती हैं लड़कियां तो बॉन्ड ऐसी होती हैं बॉन्ड कोई कुछ नहीं होता इट इज ओनली द सोशल कंस्ट्रक्ट लेटर ऑन वेन दे स्टेप इन टू द सोसाइटी इन टू द फैमिली वी स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक कि उनको वो वीक हैं वो इमोशनल हैं उनको मैनुपुलेट किया जा सकता है नॉट ओनली in india you know the adams uh, that forbidden fruit story in christianity the paradise lost in christianity when satan um, just give some kind of temptation to eve not to adam wo kehta main eve ko kahunga ki is forbidden fruit ko khao adam ko to main manipulate nahi kar sakta aur aapne dekha puri society mein ye ek concept hai ki aap आदमी uh, को मैनुपुलेट नहीं कर सकते आप वेमेन को बहुत जल्दी मैनुपुलेट कर लेते हैं ऐसा हमारी धारणा है ऐसा होता नहीं है बट इट इज इट इज समवट एक्सेप्टेबल कि वेमेन से बात करो अगर ऑफिसर नहीं मान रहा उसकी वाइफ से बात करो और आप शायद अपने एम को अचीव कर लेंगे ऐसा सोचा जाता है एंड वेन वेमेन आर एट द टॉप आर सेकेंड की नोट स्पीकर इज देयर शी इज इन जुडिशरी and i am heading this a small university doon university as vice chancellor and i feel that something is very very taken for granted from the end of our uh, people if i am employer something they are telling uh, ki she is a woman to wo aisa kar hi nahi sakti you know some drastic changes some drastic decision if i have to take people take me for granted sometime sometime that they feel ki aisa kaise ho sakta hai aur कि हाँ हाँ आप डिसीजन ले लीजिए मैडम तो मानी जाएगी उनको हम मना लेंगे सो टेकिंग द द वुमन एट एट सम काइंड ऑफ हायर लेवल हैज बीन टेकन फॉर ग्रांटेड बाय द कलीग एंड बाय देयर फेलो वर्कर्स एंड दे फील कि ऐसा होगा क्योंकि शी इज अ वुमन सो सो दीज ऑल थिंग्स व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट जेंडर इक्वालिटी आई आई बिलीव Uh, mm-hmm. that uh, the mm-hmm. uh, economic survey uh, when we read is very alarming as far as the missing girl child are concerned and uh, the survey is very alarming that not only missing uh, girl child it is the missing employment force after 12th or after some kind of degree where are they आप उनको एम्प्लॉय नहीं कर रहे हैं और वो ढूंढ भी सरकार कर रही है कि वो गई कहां लड़कियां आपने इनरोलमेंट किया था इनरोलमेंट रेशो बढ़ाया था एट क्लास में टेंथ क्लास में ट्वेल्थ क्लास में और फिर उसके जब आप रीजन यू ऑल आर फ्रॉम एकेडमिक्स एंड यू नो इट वेरी वेल कि जब उसके रीजन निकाले गए तो पता लगा कि कुछ तो कल्चरल जैसे हमारे घर की बहु बेटियां नौकरी नहीं कर या हम अभी हमारे इतने बुरे दिन नहीं आए कि तुमसे नौकरी करवाए यू नो दीज ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर कि जैसे नौकरी उसकी अपनी पर्सनल इंडिपेंडेंस नहीं है या वो पर्सनली नहीं सोच पाती कि शी हैज टू अर्न टू हर सेल्फ सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर देयर एंड द सेकेंड थिंग ऑल्सो मैं कई बार एकेडमिक्स में भी ऐसा होता है कि जब आपको किसी लड़की को लेना होता है तो अगर आपको उसे रिसर्च फेलो में लेना है रिसर्च करवानी है तो आप कहते हैं लड़की अब फिर ये लीव लेना शुरू कर देगी अब फिर इसके बच्चों की प्रॉब्लम आगी फिर इसके मटर्निटी लीव की प्रॉब्लम आएगी फिर इसकी चाइल्ड केयर लीव की प्रॉब्लम आएगी एंड सरकार इस बारे में चिंतित है कि दो द रूल्स आर वेरी वेरी एक्सप्लिसिट ऑन पेपर 
we as an employer start thinking anti women thing like ladka hoga to main main is kaam ko zyada acha kar paunga to jab tak hum employer ki mentality bhi nahi badlenge technical education mein women bahut kam hai administration mein women kam hai vice chancellor women bahut kam hai bahut sari aisi jagah hain jahan pe bahut hi alarming situation hai agriculture labor mein agar women hain to they are not considered as farmers so who so ever just farmers uh benefits are concern uh, you are not able to uh, you are not able to uh you are not able to give them you are not able to give them um, their due because they are not farmers they are not enrolled as farmers so lot of lot of things are there where we we should uh, know about it and people say ki jis din gender equality sahi terms mein uh, bharat varsh mein aa jayegi and uh, we start thinking about gender equality to hamara gdp uh, i don't uh, remember her name maybe professor batra knows uh, world bank uh, ki ya world economic forum ki uh, some women some uh, french women i think unka hai ki 27% of gdp can be achieved if gender equality is there if women should be included very seriously in the workforce and if we worried about their their uh, participation in every walks of life आपने टॉपिक रखा फॉर सस्टेनेबल टूमोरो सोसाइटी सस्टेनी जब तब करेगी जब आप उसका पार्टिसिपेशन एंश्योर करोगे एंड आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट द एफर्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज ओनली द पैराफेरियल एफर्ट जिसको आप एक वेल में एक कुएं में नीचे तक जब तक डाउन द लाइन काम नहीं होगा तो पैराफेरियल एफर्ट्स बहुत काम नहीं आते हैं it is the duty of the people since our society is very very um, um, equally equality oriented society ghar se lekar parivar se lekar aur main to hamesha ye mehsoos karti hu maine uh, america mein jaake bhi kaam kiya germany mein jaake bhi kaam kiya i always isliye maine at the outset i declare that i'm really really proud of being indian woman because i feel that in india the respect of the woman uh, does not belong to her age that she is young so everyone is respectful no jaise jaise wo badi hoti hai jaise jaise wo maa banti hai wo wo ghar ki buzurg mahila ke status mein aati hai to uski jo se hai wo zyada powerful ho jati hai matlab mujhe lagta hai ki sare jitne card aap wedding card dekhte hain agar dadi है हमारे बीच में तो दादी के नाम से कार्ड छपते हैं वहां पे पेरेंट्स का कोई बेटे का कोई लेना देना नहीं होता दादी इनवाइट करती है कि मेरी ग्रैंड डॉटर की शादी में आ जाओ मेरे ग्रैंड सन की शादी में आ जाओ और ये वेस्टर्न कंट्री में नहीं है वहां पे कैपिटलिस्ट सोसाइटी होने के नाते इट इज रिलेटेड टू हर एज इफ शी इज यूथ इफ शी इज यंग सो उसका जो यूथफुलनेस है वो उसकी एक तरह से मीडियम ऑफ एक्सप्लोइटेशन भी है और मीडियम ऑफ हर रेलिवेंस इन द सोसाइटी भी है और जैसे uh, मैंने बहुत ज्यादा देखा जर्मनी में भी मैंने महसूस किया कि जो मेल हैं इफ दे आर 50 और 50 प्लस और 45 प्लस व्हेन दे आर एट दिस एज दे फील दम सेटल्ड इकोनॉमिकली on and they have the partner like 20 25 26 less than 30 years old girls are uh, with with uh, them so meaning thereby when we ask because our project was gender related project then they say that this is the age where the man is settled and the young woman they they feel that they are secure economically with this with this age my video is not working i think so uh they they are uh, means the the young uh, women they are comfortable with that economically viable and settled male but when you see indian society uh, it is it is very different aur mujhe bada uh, log isko weakness samajhte hain par mujhe ye bada acha lagta hai ki uh, whether you are earning or you don't earn if you are a homemaker uh, you are considered as ghar ki lakshmi 
और आपको ये माना जाता है घर में कि आपके पैसे का जो बरगत है वो तब हो रही है जब आपके घर में एक वुमन है और वो वो आपकी घर के जो जो धन है उसको प्रोटेक्ट कर पा रही है या उसका इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर पा रही है या उसको तहजीब से खर्च कर पा रही है बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें हैं जहां पे वेस्टर्न फेमिनिस्ट राइटर ने ये कंसीडर किया है कि इंडियन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट रिलीजन एंड डिफरेंट पाथ ऑफ बिलीफ ने वेमेन की इक्वालिटी एंड वेमेन की लिबर्टी को इंश्योर किया है बट विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम विद लॉट ऑफ इन्वेजन इन द पास सेंचुरीज इंडिया स्टार्टेड दो पर्दा एंड इंडिया स्टार्टेड गेटिंग कंफ्यूज ओवर द सेंचुरीज की हम हम शायद एक ऐसी सोसाइटी है जो वेमेन के साथ बहुत खराब व्यवहार करती हैं तो दिस इज द राइट टाइम वेन वी शुड रिवाइव आर रूट्स this is the right time where when we should look back that how much how much uh, uh, how rich our culture was how rich our religion uh, was and how how great our gurus were the, they they have given us all the teaching all the teaching appropriate towards gender equality they never ever taught us to to subordinate women they never ever taught us to do atrocities on women they always encourage us to uh, behave equally and to behave like a gentleman chahe wo ramchandra ji ka udaharan ho chahe wo krishna ka udaharan ho aap dekhiye na kitni gender equality hai unka jo behavior hai apne counterpart ke sath wo kitna kitna sahanshil hai aur kitna equal hai aur kitna liberal hai और वहां पूछा जा रहा है द्रौपदी को पूछा जा रहा है कि अब वॉर में क्या करना है अब युद्ध में क्या करना है महाभारत के तुम बताओ और द्रौपदी एक तरह से युद्ध का संचालन कर रही है पर्दे के पीछे से और गार्गी है मैत्रेय है और तमाम ऐसी मेधा और ऐसी विदुषी भी जिन्होंने तर्क किया जैसे आज हम कर रहे हैं इंटेलेक्चुअली आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू दिस ओपन स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पंजाब Uh, that they invited us and and uh, the two speakers are women so as you are giving respect to our thought and you have given us an opportunity to express ourselves it was happened in uh, vedic period as well when uh, gargi was invited to do her argument uh, with yagyavalakya ki nahi mujhe samajh nahi aa raha aapka aapka jo uh, shastrarth hai और मैं इसमें कुछ प्रश्न करना चाहती हूँ सो अ वुमन आस्किंग क्वेश्चन ये ये कहा मिलेगा आपको वेमेन आस्किंग क्वेश्चन वुमन इन चॉइस कि किससे शादी करनी है पिता स्वयंबर रचा रहे और आप आज आपका हरियाणा का और दूसरे प्रदेशों का एग्जाम्पल न्यूयॉर्क के टाइम स्क्वायर में डिस्कस होता है कि वेमेन की ये हालत है इंडिया में और एक बहुत ही नेगेटिव इमेज वुमन की जाती है तो हम उस उस देश से हैं जहां पे वुमन इन चॉइस थी वुमन को उसकी चॉइस की रिस्पेक्ट की जा रही थी उसको पूछा जा रहा था कि तुम बताओ तुम्हें क्या चाहिए और फिर उसकी चॉइस से आगे चाहे वो धनुष तोड़ने की बात हो चाहे वो मछली की आंख में तीर मारने की बात हो लेकिन उसकी चॉइस पूछी जा रही सो द वेस्टर्न फैमिलिस्ट दे कंसिडर दीज काइंड ऑफ मिथ्स एंड स्टोरीज इन इंडियन कल्चर एंड रिलीजन talking about our gurus talking about raja ram mohan rai talking about ambedkar talking about gandhi ki unhone hamesha uh, women liberation ki baat ki to itni rich parampara mein ye kaise ho sakta hai ki hum kahe hamari male dominated society hai ya chauvinism hai ya ya male humko aage nahi badhne de rahe we have to uh, see it and revisit it we need to reanalyze the whole structure of gender equality especially in terms of these best examples jahan pe usko economically viable kiya gaya self help group bana ke kiya gaya mahatma gandhi ke trustee ke siddhant se kiya gaya aur usme kahin nahi kaha gaya ki wo trusteeship agar lady hai to usko na di jaye वो वो उसको उसको पूरी तरीके से इकोनॉमिकली और जो हिंदू विवाह अधिनियम है और सारे के सारे चीजों में अभी जो हमारी सेकंड रेस्पेक्टेड स्पीकर है वो बताएंगी कि, कि कहीं लॉ में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है कहीं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है और और भी आगे तीन तलाक और इन सब में लगातार काम हो रहा है कि ये कैसे हो सकता है कि आप ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी में वेमेन को कोई वर्ड्स और कोई आपका गलत ट्रेडिशन अगर चल गया तो उसको भी आपने गले लगाना है नहीं सो हैविंग सेड दैट आई ऑलवेज बिलीव 
that India, uh, India is a society respectful to women, not only that we, we can say that not to worship women, but treated, always treats her as equal to uh, men. And our society uh, since inception is a society uh, favorable for gender equality. Now we have to see in this uh, world of globalization, as Professor Batra was talking about, uh, I'm from the hill and I understand that how difficult her life is when her um, uh, husband is in army. Most of the people are serving Indian army and the women left alone in the household and she is taking care of her grandparents, uh, she is taking care of her parents-in-law and children. She is very, very pro-education. I would like to share that whatever great movement took place in Uttarakhand, it is only because of women, be it a movement of separate state, women were at the forefront, be it a movement of Garhwal University, you won't believe that it was opened by those so-called illiterate women. So 1973 it was opened only because uh, Uttarakhand ki women sadkon par aage is vishwavidyalay ko ma maangne ke liye. Anti-liquor movement aapne suna hooga. Gaura Devi aapne suna hooga pariyavarad mein itna bada naam hai. Bachendri Pala Everest mein pehli mahila hai bharatiya. To yeh sari women jo first women hai, inki zindagi pahar se bhi jyada kathin hai. बहुत कठिन है और जंगली जानवरों से वो शेर से लड़ जाती है वो बाघ से लड़ जाती है वो वो अपने बच्चों को बचाने के लिए भालू से लड़ जाती है और ये थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एग्जांपल है जो हर दिन पेपर में आते रहते हैं तो वो बाय हर बर्थ शी इज वेरी टफ एंड शी इज अ फाइटर शी इज अ बॉन्ड फाइटर और उस सोसाइटी में उसको उत्तराखंड की सोसाइटी एक पूरी तरीके से दहेज ना लेने वाली सोसाइटी यहाँ पर दहेज ना तो मांगा जाता है ना बोला जाता है ना शो किया जाता है और अगर कहीं से ये खबर आपको मिलती है कि कोई ये बात कर रहा है तो उसको बहुत खराब नजरों से देखा जाता है तो फिर भी मैं कहूंगी कि सोसाइटी में अगर वेमेन एक फाइटर है तो उसका भी एक होलिस्टिक अप्रोच है उसका जो मेल काउंटर पार्ट है उसके जो पुरुष सहयोगी है उनका पूरा पूरा योगदान उसको एक फाइटर बनाने में है और बहुत एंकरेज यहाँ पर बेटियों को किया जाता है बहुत उनको आगे लाया जाता है उनको पढ़ाया जाता है और पूरी सोसाइटी उसमें अपना योगदान देती है तो नॉट ओनली इन उत्तराखंड बट एवरी सोसाइटी इफ दे आर वेमेन आर डूइंग गुड महात्मा गांधी ने कहा था कि एक वेमेन के पार्टिसिपेशन से ये इंश्योर होगा कि सोसाइटी प्रोग्रेसिव है या नहीं है सो अगेन अगेन आई एम विशिंग एवरी वन अ ग्रेट इंटरनेशनल वेमेन डे एंड वी आर द सोसाइटी ऑलवेज इन फेवर ऑफ वेमेन पार्टिसिपेशन इंडिपेंडेंस एंड एम्पावरमेंट वी आर द सोसाइटी वेरी वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुल टू द वेमेन ऑफ ऑल एजेस टू द वेमेन ऑफ ऑल वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ सो लेट अस हैव दिस फीलिंग रिचार्ज अगेन विद आर कल्चरल रूट्स विद आर रिलीजियस रूट्स एंड विद द ट्रू ट्रिब्यूट्स टू आर ग्रेट गुरुज इन द प्रकाश पर्व and we should have this kind of feeling ki unhone agar aisa kaha tha to unhone kyon kaha tha to hum apne kandhe pe kam se kam 21st century mein ye curse nahi le jana chahte ki humne women ke liye kuch nahi kiya jab hamare yahan 500 saal pehle 5000 saal pehle women equality ki baat ho rahi thi to 21st century mein hum instrumental bane kisi atrocities ke liye ye koi bhi bharat ka jo purush hai wo ye nahi chahega कि उसकी पीढ़ी पे ये ये एक डिस्क्रेडिट उसको मिले तो हम सबको मिलके अपनी जेंडर इक्वालिटी को और मजबूत करना है एम्पावर करना है वेमेन की एजुकेशन पे ध्यान देना है और जितना हो सके उसको एक समाज में अगर वो बाहर निकलती है तो उसकी हेल्प करनी है उसके चैलेंजेस को कम करना है उनका अपॉर्चुनिटी में बदलना है इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ वंस अगेन आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू प्रोफेसर बत्रा एंड वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर करमजीत सिंह जी रजिस्ट्रार साहब एंड ऑल द फ्रेटर्निटी ऑफ जगत गुरु नानक देव यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला दैट यू हैव गिवन मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर समथिंग यू नो इट्स नॉट अ वेल प्रिपेयर लेक्चर इट वॉज नॉट एट ऑल प्रिपेयर इट इज जस्ट whatever i was just uh, remembering in my experience i i was sharing with you thank you so much once again thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thanks for this impressive speech laced with beautiful examples from realia bollywood commercial world 
And uh, thank you so much for bringing forth all those issues, uh, but from a different perspective. Totally agreed that although women are becoming more powerful in business, entertainment, politics, and many more areas, there are still, uh, still a lot of inequalities around the world, which call for the mobilization of everybody, especially men, to grant women the proper status they merit. I totally agree when you said that, uh, men have to be taken into confidence and accepted as partners in taking a stand against gender inequality. Uh, so I believe that perhaps education uh, has to be made more gender sensitive. Uh, there is a need to educate boys and men in terms of their understanding, information and capacity building regarding equal opportunities for both the genders. Without this, I too believe that uh, any amount of women's reservation and welfare programs perhaps will not be able to uh, you know, in, enhance the status of women folk or reduce their inequality. And, and ma'am, when you mentioned that uh, this gender inequality is perhaps uh, not only uh, uh, in our society is not only prevalent in our society, but has its roots in West also. Here, I'd like to quote uh, the words of Barack Obama, who said in one of his interviews, uh, he, I, I'd like to quote, he said that we need to keep changing the attitude that raises our girls to be demure and our boys to be assertive, that criticizes our daughters for speaking out and our sons for shedding a tear. So he was being there in the, in the States, in the, in the West, which is considered to be a very developed uh, area. He too felt the, uh, the, the ripples of inequality in his society. And we believe that we all have to join our hands together to break through these limitations and to come out as uh, equal and uh, you know, gender equal, beautiful world. Thank you so much for your wonderful words and your opinion, ma'am. Thank you so much. Dear friends, we all know that whenever a woman has been given a chance, she has set new benchmarks of excellence. From running her own enterprise to leading a nation, a woman has been breaking the stereotypical barriers and is proving her mettle in all the fields she steps in. And we are proud to have one such woman who dared to break the glass ceilings and stepped into the field, which historically has been considered a bastion for, for men. So it is a great privilege for me to introduce our next speaker to you, Ms. Harpreet Kaur, Judicial, uh, Chief Judicial Magistrate, come Secretary, District Legal, Legal Services Authority, Shaheed Bhagat Singh Nagar. She holds an impressive professional credentials which make a long list. She is known for her irrevocable decisions, incisive mind and quick wit. Quick wit. She has lot much in her kitty to flaunt, but always remains grounded to her roots and draws inspiration from the same. Ma'am, it would be a an honor for all of us to listen to you on this day. So with great pride in our heart, we'd like to invite Honorable Ms. Harpreet Korji to share her opinion with us. Ma'am, please. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, good morning to all of you. So first of all, happy Women's Day to all. So I'm extremely glad to be given the opportunity to deliver a speech on this International Women's Day. So International Women's Day is celebrated every year globally on 8th of March. It sheds a light on the great achievements of the women in the various fields. Empowering women is a great responsibility. It is also necessary for the gender equality and social dignity. So in the olden days, uh, women were uh, confined to the home and were not allowed to step out of the house for work. But today society has seen a lot of changes. Today, women have started realizing their strength. They are contributing to the success of their home and the entire society. Now she is strong and self-confident. We should respect each of them, not because of gender, but because of their own identity. 
we must agree that both women and men contribute to the development of the home and the community. So uh, we must say for the woman that you are strong, you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are capable and you are kind. So women are backbone of a nation, a mother, daughter, partner, organizer, director, teacher. A woman has various roles to play in her life. Women face biased behavior of people and education availability for women is still lower than men. They don't have gender equality. Girl child abuse is common in many places. Now you can see women reaching greater heights and even traveling to the space. They are entering into all the fields and are making success everywhere they go. As you know, Kalpana Chawla, she was selected in honor of her prominent place in, she was selected in honor of her prominent place in world history. She held commercial pilot's license for single and multi-engine airplanes. We can proudly say even Chawla's accidental death is an inspiration to the modern woman. So you know Malala, at her early period, she became world popular pointing her figure for the right to women education. Yes, she belonged to the younger person ever to win the Nobel Peace Prize just in the age of 14. Women are the real architect of the society. Women not only build themselves, but a whole community. Yet history has failed the women many a times to represent what a woman can be. There cannot be a just, there cannot be just a day to celebrate a woman. So, Gurbani de took the zikar kardiansi, Gurbani de Gurbani which zikar hai, Sokya Manda Akhi Jit Jame Rajan. Sikhism de which we or Hinduism de which we Bhagwan ne priority basis de to see carry gender equality the gal hori a teki gender equality jiti zawe ya jit kit gender equality nahi hai. Even Hinduism de which equality the gal kardia to see the kogeki words jivanki Radha Krishan. पहला माता रानी का नाम आंदा है उस तो बाद कृष्ण भगवान का नाम है सीता राम मेल फीमेल ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰਾਇਰਟੀ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਗੌਰੀ ਸ਼ੰਕਰ ਇਵਨ ਗੌਰੀ ਮਈਆ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਔਰ ਸ਼ੰਕਰ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਖੁਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਖੁਦ ਨੂੰ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੂਮਨ ਇਕੁਐਲਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੂਮਨ ਇਕੁਐਲਿਟੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਐਸਿਡ ਅਟੈਕ ਵਿਕਟਮ ਸਰਵਾਈਵਰ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਵੂਮਨ ਹੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਇਸ ਸਵਾਲ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਦੇ ਸਕਦਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋਲ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਕੇਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਵੂਮਨ ਵਿਕਟਮ ਹੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਆਨਰ ਕਿਲਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ 100% ਕੇਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ 95% ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਵੂਮਨ ਨੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਨੇ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਅਜ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਪੇਪਰ ਚ ਮੈਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੀ ਸੀਗੀ पटना ਦੀ एक न्यूज पड़ी ਆਨਰ ਕਿਲਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਕਿ 19 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਗਰਲ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਉਹਦੇ ਚਾਚਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਪੈਰ ਫੜੇ ਤਾਇਆ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਜੂ ਪਕੜੀਆਂ ਔਰ ਪਿਤਾ ਨੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਗਲਾ ਰੇਤ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦੀ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਸੋ ਜੈਂਡਰ ਇਕੁਐਲਿਟੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਖੁਦ ਨੂੰ ਚੇਂਜ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਸੋਚ ਨੂੰ ਬਦਲਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਸੋ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਵੂਮੈਨਸ ਡੇ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਰੈਕਗਨਾਈਜ਼ ਦਾ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਵੂਮੈਨ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫਸ with all these words i conclude my speech thank you thank you so much ma'am ma'am your view towards the world your opinions they all are as charismatic as your persona is we are highly impressed with your presence on the webinar today and perhaps you don't know how much you have impressed the people with your presence today and how much you are going to be a, a, an inspiration for all of us thank you so much for here, for being here ma'am thank, thank you. you thank you so much thank you uh, now i'd like to invite the person who's an inspiration for all of us who's a backbone of this university the man who's endowed with the best of qualities always holds women in great reverence he's the one who has the passion to make a difference with his efforts who puts his heart and soul in all the endeavors he's the one who surpasses his personal goals and gains to take the university to greater heights Yes, yes, dear listeners, I'm talking about none other than 
our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir Professor Karamjeet Singh Ji. Sir, I request you to uh, enlighten us with your opinion on this day with all of us. Professor Karamjeet Singh Ji. Uh, thank you, Gurleen. Uh, this, I, I wish you all a happy International Women Day. Thank you, sir. And uh, you know that when Professor Batra, when uh, we were discussing about uh, uh, holding this event, and then the name of uh, Dr. Suri Khadangwal and Ms. Harpreet Kaur, uh, it was cropped up, and we immediately decided that uh, mm -hmm. we will we will uh, invite a distinguished person uh, in the area. Uh, particularly, they can speak and they can share their thoughts with us. And uh, I, I mean that what a beautiful way they have, uh, I mean, explained the issues. Not only explain the issues, they raise certain issues that, uh, I mean, that Dr. Surekha Dangwal, she started with emotions. And see, it, it's, uh, it's examples. Uh, in our Gurbani, we say that Babaniya Kahaniya, jo, the stories of the old people, you know, that it, it affects us. Uh, when I was uh, just uh, uh, listening to these two great women, uh, not only they have achieved a lot in their life, but the way they spoke and uh, examples which uh, Dr. Sri Khadangwal gave and Harpreet talked about uh, Gurbani and then talking about the issues and particularly the, I mean, the news which uh, clipping which she was, she was discussing uh, that uh, what happened today only. You see, I am, I am reminded of uh, our ancient culture. In fact, when we say that uh, gender equality, uh, see, Gurbani says, Gurbani says that we are, we are souls, we are Atma. Gurbani, or for that matter, all of our ancient literature, rightly, uh, Harpit, uh, Harpit Kaur, she, she, she referred to Sita Ram and other things. You see that whenever we talk about, we do talk about uh, Saraswati and Lakshmi and Parvati uh, ladies. But if I go back to the history, I found that uh, uh, there was a Pratha of Swambar. As we all know about Swambar Pratha is there. Woman has a right to choose her companion. Then there was a, another advancement I was just observing in uh, when I was shuffling the pages of history. That there we talked about the Gandharva Veva. What was Gandharva Veva? Even their example was that King Dushanta, Dushanta and Shukuntala, they married in Gandharva Veva. Even Bhim and Hadamba Devi, they married Gandharva Veva. Gandharva Veva is something that it is a today's uh, modern way system, it is a live-in marriages. Although in 1930, Abdul Rahim, he, uh, it is not, uh, I mean, that legally viable in India. But my point is not, I am not in favor of that thing. What I am saying that look at the freedom which a woman was enjoying in our ancient period. Then we have seen in Middle Area also, Middle Area also, we, we talk about Raj, um, Rani, I mean, Rajya Sultana, many, many people there, Rani Jansi, Jansi Bai. Even in our Sikh literature, if we look at the, the things that Bibi Nanki, Bibi Nanki was a sister, right? He, he, he was the person, she was the lady who first of all realized and understood that Gunanak is a spiritual soul. He is a, like a God. Bibi Pani, Langar Pratha was started by Bibi Pani ji. Then we talk about Mata Gujri ji. You see how motivated she was, how a small kid, small child, she motivated that not to sacrifice their own faith and, and give their lives. This was our tradition. Now, when we talk about women empowerment, uh, I, I think that when we celebrate these type of these, we must introspect that what are the reasons? What should we do? I believe strongly, I and both the speakers they come out with the solution also. I believe also that male counterpart they should be very, very proactive because it's not a question of equality, 
it's a question is question is not that we are to empower somebody question is that we have to make sure that if you if you look at the things how we treat our own sisters how we treat our own mothers our own relationship if we start behaving that how we want to our sister be treated by other people how we want our mother to be respected by by the uh, i mean that yourself or the people then you will understand that if we apply that parameters to the to the other ladies treating them as the sisters and mothers and the daughters things would definitely change uh, in a better perspective i agree with the uh, with the speakers also and uh, dr gulina also she talked about attitude you know we have to change the attitude now what is the solution that the topic which is uh, right now it is gender equality uh, for a sustainable uh, development see that uh, two the theme sub theme which i have taken maybe to talking about the climate changes it has been observed that women are the worst sufferer now there is a need because it's a lower strata of people which will be suffering even nowadays also if you look at the <clears throat> look at the data uh, i was surprised that when i look at the data that uh, uh one uh, out of five girls uh, uh it's the data which i was it is a, not surprising that they 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 are subject to sexual violation by the women by one stage or the other one to out of 20% you know incidence is there so this thing uh, it need need to be look, in, uh, look into uh, properly uh i would not say this thing i would like to say only three things that we should take home after attending this seminar you see we should not talk we should implement and start from ourselves look at yourself at how you are dealing with your colleagues how you are dealing with your your neighbors the girls or women whether you are point i am mean, giving the opportunity or not i do agree with dr sureka that when we talk about the employability also some we say that for a particular post for a particular things women are not you know uh, may not be giving that much time that is required for the post this thinking needs to be changed the first thing is that first thing which i believe strongly believe that we should start introspection we should start from our own self we should respect start respecting from our own you know home you can say start from your family members then your uh, employees then other things this is one second second thing i also appeal to my sisters this is something which i normally say in uh, different because uh, i have been addressing the um, women also earlier also my appeal to is to them is that they are blessed with you know that there is a very i i am i am touching very very sensitive part sensitive issue which i am touching but this is something very very important you know that dignity self worth i mean that it should be there it is a choice of women but at the same time we talk about equality <clears throat> we don't want we don't want that a particular because at the end of the day जैसे हम वुमेन रिजर्वेशन की बात करते हैं कहीं ये ना हो कि मेल रिजर्वेशन की बात हो जाए वट आई बिलीव वट आई बिलीव वट आई बिलीव दैट दैट देर सम इंडियन वैल्यूज आर देयर सम इंडियन कल्चर देयर दैट नीड्स टू बी ऑब्जर्व नॉट ओनली बाय द फीमेल बट बाय द मेल काउंटर पर आल्सो बिकॉज बोथ आर ट्रीटेड एज इक्वल राइट बाय द गुरबानी बाय द अवर गुरु साहेबान एंड थर्ड थिंग विच आई विच आई वॉन्ट टू से first one is introspection second one is that equality should be there and third one is the is that what is the way out way out is the education way out is the employability way out is the economic power of the women way out is that we should open the doors of employability and you know that uh, I, i have already discussed also that after the world war second women started entering the corporate world and now we we can see indra noi everybody knows indra noi have carved a place for herself in the corporate world she not only not only a heading a pepsi company ceo 
but at the same time she has balanced the work life i mean that she is having two daughters and i was reading her biography that she is devoting equal time to her family also many philanthropists is are there even when we talk about mackenzie scott i don't go into her personal life that how what he is done jeff bezos but what i am referring to is that philanthropy all these things they are the things which are giving a motivation to all of us so education health should be i mean priority these two things if they taken together i think that that is the real purpose of celebrating any any day and i wish uh, that during uh, the today uh, uh, all uh, participants uh, male participants they should take a pledge that they should start i mean respecting start from their own home start from their family start from their uh, i mean work you know i mean uh, place and then and then promote such thing uh, in, in in society also and my my appeal to my sisters my sisters uh, that power you know that nobody gives you you have to hold on the power you have to exert you have to prove your worth in the sense that if you are excelling in education if you are excelling in because i was just reading that i am just forgetting the name uh, probably anandi kapal joshi probably uh, was her name she was the first us i mean the 20 she 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 died of tb she was the first female doctor uh, in usa uh, who graduated from usa she was indian born she went to usa at 21 of age she, she excelled and she got it so my my point is that my appeal to sisters that they should start work on these parameter also education is something very important with education comes the courage with education comes the i mean is the force by which you can fight all type of brutality and then health is something very very important along with modesty along with the kind heart along with the love and affection along with the uh, the natural qualities which they are having if they sustain that right then probably probably i feel that environment in your family environment in our workplace environment in society will definitely uh, um, uh, will will improve and uh, whatever our gurus thought or our guru dictated probably that type of environment that type of culture that we need to create with these words i once again i once again i mean congratulate my faculty members right Thank and you, my uh, particular ladies in uh, i mean women in our departments they are i must admit here that all are working to the best of their potentials and and rather rather i depend upon uh, my women employees for almost all the crucial issues this this is this goes uh, without saying that of course we we are we are working in a team and everybody is supporting each other but yes uh, in our university very good you know culture is there i would like to say where we are supporting each other whether in the equality probably is visible everywhere with these words i once again thanks uh, our two speakers for sparing time and sharing their uh, thought on this topic thank you very much thank you so much sir thank you for uh, discussing those three important issues that we have to take away with our uh, selves today to back to our homes uh, that equality can only be brought with the help of education and employability and with the help of these only women can be empowered and i completely agree sir that it should start from our own homes uh, it'll happen the change will happen only when we begin to acknowledge and appreciate women in our own hearths here i'd like to share a few lines uh, written beautifully by march pierce pierce in her poem uh, the work of artifice where she's taken the metaphor of a bonsai tree to express her ideas to express how the women at their own homes 
uh, with the help of bonsai tree, you know, she's trying to explain how she's conditioned to live a limited life. She says the bonsai tree in the attractive pot could have grown 80 feet tall, but a gardener carefully prunes it every day while he whittles back the branches, he croons to the plant and says, it is your nature to be small and cozy, domestic and weak. She, with the beautiful words of her poems, but very convincing words, trying to say that we are not to get deceived by uh, the liberty that we deserve. Our wings should not be clipped. We should not be kept inside the cages and our flights should not be prevented. And, and I completely believe, sir, when you say that the hands that rock the cradle hold the potential to rule the world too. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I'd like to invite our worthy registrar, sir, Dr. Dharam Singh Sandhuji, to extend thanks, vote of thanks to everybody present on the webinar. Sir, please. Thank you, uh, Dr. Gurleen. Most honorable, our worthy Vice Chancellor, Professor Karamji Singh Ji, Professor Surekha Dangbal Ji, keynote speaker, and Vice Chancellor Doon University, Madam Harpreet Kaur, guest of honor. Chief Judicial Magistrate, come Secretary, District Legal Services Authority, SBS Nagar. Professor G.S. Batraji, Dean Academic Affairs. Dr. Gurleen, Coordinator. My dear faculty members and guests. First of all, I congratulate to all of you on this auspicious day the International Women's Day. And theme of the this International Women's Day, gender equality for a sustainable tomorrow. I take this uh, opportunity to thank all the esteemed members who joined us and especially our uh, keynote speaker and uh, guest of honor, Professor Surekha Dangwal, and we can say that both the speakers very beautifully uh, quoting some good examples of the Indian culture and uh, world. And uh, especially our Honorable Vice Chancellor also gives some very, we can say, the good examples of the uh, equality, gender equality regarding, we can say, the economic independence of the women and uh, social status of the women in the society, how we achieve it, what are the parameters. So highly thankful to all of you uh, today on this uh, special occasion. And one thing I would like to say, uh, four lines especially uh, to the dedication to the women. Hajarum fool chahiye ek mala banane ke liye. हजारों फूल चाहिए एक माला बनाने के लिए हजारों दीप चाहिए एक आरती सजाने हजारों बूंद चाहिए समुद्र बनाने के लिए सिर्फ एक नारी काफी है सिर्फ एक नारी काफी है एक घर को स्वर्ग बनाने के लिए सो व्हेन आई व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट uh, the Indian culture, which uh, gives women the utmost respect. Many of our gods are female and they have been worshipped as a deity by the many faithful people. The goddess of wealth is Lakshmi, the goddess of power and strength is Durga, and the goddess of wisdom is Saraswati. Women are epitome of wealth and power. Women play 
an important role in society and the whole family is dependent on women for its daily activities when the uno is uh, talking about the gender in, in, uh, inequality one one of the major hindrances in the growth and ad advancement of the women is gender inequality especially we can say that this means that we treat males and females unequally even for the same task this is generally in the case of the uh, we can say the uh, especially to the rural societies also a male child is always encouraged by family to go to school while the female child is told to learn household work but we also know the kind of the domestic uh, uh, violence where a, as we say the divorce is still a taboo in the indian society many women are suffering from abusive marriages as they are not empowered they fear to stand up for their right if we want to empower women then domestic violence has to at any cost and the economic independence where our honorable vice chancellor were talking about as females were given poor education or no education they are not able to get good jobs thus either they have to stay at home or do lesser paid jobs thus the male always remain the bread earner of the family so the women hardly get economic independence so so uh, oh. when we are talking about uh, this uh, equality na to mera ye manna hai ki keval physical uh, equality di apa nahi aj jidon awareness di gal kiti ja rahi hai physical equality di nahi gal sanu karni chahidi oda jehda vichar hai jo oda vyavhar hai jinnu apa kehne ki oh sam hona chahida hai aur ਸਮਾਨ ਭਾਵ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਭਾਵਨਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਇਹ ਬੜਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਜਦੋਂ ਵਿਮਨ ਡੇ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਮਨ 'ਚ ਵੈਸੇ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਵਾਈ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਿੰਗ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਵਿਮਨ ਡੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਕੁਐਲਿਟੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਲੋੜ ਪਈ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਵੇਅਰਨੈਸ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵਿਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਮੇਲ ਕਾਉਂਟਰਪਾਰਟ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਮੈਂ ਹਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਰੰਧਾਵਾ ਤੁਸ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਜਾਗਰੂਕਤਾ ਪੈਦਾ ਕਰਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਲ ਕਾਉਂਟਰਪਾਰਟ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਾਗਰੂਕਤਾ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਦਿਨ ਗੌਰਵਸ਼ਾਲੀ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਾਉਂਟਰਪਾਰਟ ਮੇਲ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਅਗਰ ਦਾਇਰੇ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਨਾ ਵੀ ਸਮਾਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਰਾਬਰਤਾ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਪੂਰੇ ਵਰਲਡ 'ਚ ਬਰਾਬਰਤਾ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਬੜਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਚਾਰ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਹਨ ਅਗਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਲਈਏ ਤੇ ਪੂਰੇ ਸਮਾਜ 'ਚ ਜਾਗਰੂਕਤਾ ਆ ਜਾਏ ਬਰਾਬਰਤਾ ਆ ਜਾਏ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬ੍ਰਦਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਨੂੰ ਮਦਰ ਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਕਰੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮਦਰ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂ ਬੇਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਰਾਬਰਤਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਕਰੇ ਅਗਰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਇਸ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਬਦਲੇਗਾ ਔਰ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਿਲਟੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਅਚੀਵ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਜੇ ਜੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਨੂੰ ਬਦਲਣਾ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਘਰ ਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਬਦਲਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੀ ਬਾਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਆਨਰੇਬਲ ਸਪੀਕਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਫੈਕਲਟੀ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਦਾ ਔਰ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਆਨਰੇਬਲ ਵਾਈਸ ਚਾਂਸਲਰ ਦਾ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਚਾਹੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਓਪਨ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਵਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਦਾ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਇੱਕ ਅੱਛੀ ਸੋਚ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਉਚਾਈ ਤੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮੱਚ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮੱਚ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਐਂਡ 